What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, this uh, video is just a short video, tips of the week. Um, a couple things I wanna talk about. Number one, um, let me just create an estimate real quick here. And somebody told me that when they, when they send, when we email the estimate or the invoice, they wanna see the invoice number in the, in, in the subject. So that's already fixed. So the invoice number will be on the subject. Uh, let's see how that look like uh, from the customer end. All right, so this is how it looks like from the customer end, invoice number 12843. And they can obviously open it and see it. So that's fixed. Um, another uh, problem that somebody addressed is what if so when you convert the estimate uh, when you convert the invoice to original estimate uh, before this update which is 248 uh, I'm sorry which is 148 before this update uh, the invoice was deleted not anymore we change this to when you convert and uh, back to original estimate all right, so let me explain the, this situation real quick. So when you convert an estimate, uh, an invoice back to original estimate, basically we have to void or delete the invoice. Uh, prior to this, we were deleting the invoice, but the problem was causing problems where people, even though there was a warning there, but people were confused that what happened to this invoice. So now what we're doing, we, we, we can avoid this invoice. You cannot use this invoice, however, um, the reason you cannot use this invoice because we, we don't know if you're gonna uh, create an uh, like you're gonna create an invoice for that customer again and you we cannot assign this invoice uh, to, an, uh, to this invoice number to another customer that's why we had to avoid it so let me show you so let's say I want to convert this estimate to original invoice uh, this invoice to original estimate apologize and it's gonna say warning at the bottom selected invoice will be voided just click yes and if we go this is the estimate here so we can get back the original estimate we can change the vehicle we can change anything we want but let's go back to our reports and let's see what happened here so you're gonna see this invoice was it says converted to original estimate and it was voided and it's gonna say zero zero if I click on it I cannot open it but at least we know now what happened to that invoice and uh, what date was like what you still have the date and what, like the, what time and what date was basically voided so i mean i don't know I, I definitely say do not use the like do not convert it to original estimate unless you have to but no matter what i've noticed there's a lot of times where you have to convert to original estimate if the invoice have payments um, uh, let me let me just create another one sorry but it's important so well, that's fine all right so let's say the same estimate we're gonna make a payment for fifty dollars if that uh, if that if I've tried to convert to original estimate it will not let you right now it's gonna say um, there's a there's a payment so basically you need to delete the payment first to be able to convert it to original estimate keep in mind that we track everything now with activity um so if you look right there estimate was created authorized to this invoice number uh invoice number was voided and converted back to original estimate so we have every we track everything now for you so there is no way that you don't have to worry about what happened to an invoice anymore uh, we can always find it now the only way you can delete an invoice is basically you gotta go to the daily report and obviously we cannot delete this because it's voided but let's say i want to delete this invoice and i'm gonna go to delete invoice right there yes and you have to type delete and this is the only way you can delete an invoice we definitely don't recommend deleting an invoice void it instead of delete it anyway that's it for today I appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching